What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Giants franchise here in Madden 20. Tough loss last week to the Dallas Cowboys, 24 to 14. We weren't able to squeak a win out in week one, but we're moving on, moving on to week two. Hopefully we can get a big win for the team. A few things to address. We have a big decision to make. We have to cut one player. The reason being, I looked into free agency to see if there was anything that I wanted to add to the team, and I was able to find Derek Kindred. Uh, 25 years old, he's already a 73 overall, and he's very close to getting an upgrade point, as you can see. So I added him to the team, and that does free up Michael Thomas to get traded. Is any team gonna have much of an interest in him? Probably not, but we're gonna try and see if we can salvage anything for Michael Thomas rather than just cutting him. So I'm just gonna quickly roll through the teams here. I highly doubt anyone is gonna be interested into taking him. I mean, he's 29. Yeah, there's not gonna be anyone that's overly interested. He's 29, he's gonna start regressing, but we're gonna see here if we're able to get anything for him at this point. So we were able to salvage something for Michael Thomas. It is not much. Uh, I know it's from the Dallas Cowboys inners uh, division trading, but we were able to get the 2021 round seven pick 214th. <laughs> you know, we got something for him. We were just going to cut him anyway. Uh, we were able to take something from Dallas. We might be able to turn this pick into something more profitable for us. But at the very least, we did get something. So we are going to hop right into our week two game against the Buffalo Bills. It is our home opener, and I will see you guys at kickoff. It is the home opener for the New York football Giants. We are at MetLife Stadium. We will be receiving the ball to start the game. Hopefully setting up our offense well. Corey Ballantyne gets past the 25 to the 30 and that's what we were to take over to start this ball game we look to start this ball game off with a sure thing we're going to give the ball to saquon barkley he is the backbone of our offense and saquon takes off early what a big gain to start off the game i want to try and take advantage of what saquon did to start off this drive and abuse this defense see if we can get golden tate open downfield not any time, couldn't even get rid of the football. <sighs> Trying to recover from that huge sack on first down. We have Sterling Shepard wide open, makes the catch, nearing a first down. Saquon will push forward for the first down, continuing our drive. Judging by the look, it looks like Evan Ingram might be able to get behind this middle linebacker. Safety takes over, but Evan Ingram will be wide open downfield. Oh, and the ball is knocked away. We had him on second and 10 here. We're gonna give the ball off to Saquon again. He fights through the hole. What a smooth move by Saquon. Defense might be expecting the run here. See if we can catch them off guard. And we do, and we have Evan Ingram with a huge gain. Our offense is already looking significantly better than we did to any point, <laughs> even in preseason and yesterday. Ah, that didn't expect the didn't expect the block to come right there. Juked right into the defender. Has to get it out quick, and he will to TJ Jones, Eli Manning. Our offense is cruising. We cannot get away. Didn't want to force it to one of our receivers. Might have been a mistake. Evan Ingram in the end zone, and it's knocked away again. That's twice now in this ball game that he's had a ball taken right out of his hands. We really want to come away with a touchdown here on our first drive of the game. It's been a long drive. Ugh. My first read was Sterling Shepard. He wasn't able to get open. Neither was Evan Ingram. Looks like we're gonna have to settle for three. And we will put it through four three. 
Our first lead <laughs> of this franchise feels good, even though it's only three. We will take over on defense here after the field goal. Allen's able to get that away. Gain of four. Key for our defense is going to be trying to contain Shady McCoy. Even in the pet. Even in the passing game, I thought he was going to break away there for a moment. Able to shop him, hold him to a short gain. Gets the quick pass away. The blitz is a juke. The blitz has not been working for us as of late. Only running the ball once. Read that beautifully with Ryan Connolly, able to get to him before he breaks away. Quick toss, stays on his feet. We get him knocked out of bounds, not before he gets the first down. Big stop in the backfield for our defense. We read it all the way. Not fooled by the play action. They go deep into the end zone. It almost looked like they gave up on him, or they didn't even see him there. I was trailing with the middle linebacker. Thankfully, he was out of bounds. It is now third and 11. Look at the time he has. Big hit, he gets the first down. Not much I could do. I'm, I'm trying to cover everything in the end zone. I'm able to do so. He checks it down. Shady McCoy gets across for a first down. Shady McCoy is stopped by Dalvin Tomlinson. And that was already the first quarter. That was very quick. Wide open. We're able to stop him before he gets in. It is third and goal. We stop Shady. No touchdown for Buffalo on their first drive. It'll be fourth and goal. And they will tie it up at three. Saquon Barkley breaks one tackle. They catch up to him, but not after he gains a good chunk of yardage. Saquon Barkley is tearing up this defense. You got to know that Saquon is one big play from breaking one. Able to pick up some yardage there. I'm dying to hit one of these play action passes. I think we have set it up nicely here. See if we can get anyone deep downfield. And just have no time. Now the last thing I wanna do is abandon anything in a playbook, but it really looks like we're not gonna be able to do play action until we get a better offensive line. Third and 11, need some yardage. Manning slings it out to Golden Tate, able to find him open for a big gain. Saquon Barkley bounces it outside. That was a wise decision as the hole was blocked up pretty nicely, but he's able to get five. Didn't like what I saw. Going to take our first time out. Evan Ingram left wide open, and Eli will overthrow him. If Ingram, he was gone. That was end zone if we were able to get him the ball there. Eli Manning is going to throw the interception. See if we can catch up to him with Nate Solder. Not able to. Wayne Gallman, last-ditch effort, cannot get him. That'll be a pick six. After that awful interception on our last drive, our offense will take over. Wayne Gallman in the game. He's able to break away as well. Beautiful yeah. shoot by Wayne Gallman. 20 yards for the young running back. Man, 
After a great start to the game, Eli has been throwing the ball all over the field. See if we can get Ingram here. Eli Manning rolls out. He is not going to get anywhere. If Eli had any speed whatsoever, he might have been able to get there, but he does not. We will punt away. Beautiful punt by Riley Dixon. That'll be inside the five at the four. Let's see if we can get some pressure here on this offense, starting inside of their own five. You know they'll be going to Shady, and we get a huge stop in the backfield. We do not get the safety, but we are able to stop him. McCoy picks up the four yards that, that Gus Edwards did lose. It is now third and 10. We're able to stop him before getting the first down. They'll be punting inside of their own 10. We really need to start taking advantage of these opportunities here. Back on offense. I had RB wide open, just don't have time. I immediately have to start backpedaling, which is gonna screw up his accuracy. That's the two minute warning. We are starting from behind the eight ball here, second and 20 after a big sack, coming out of the two minute warning. We need something big here. Sterling Shepard comes down with it. What a catch by Sterling Shepard and he is gone. Shepard with the huge touchdown for the Giants. We are one extra point away from tying this ball game. 72 yards. After the huge 72 yard touchdown, we take over on defense. We are all tied after drilling that extra point. Do not want to let them score before half here. Not much of a game there. Not much there either, but they're slowly moving the ball. It is third and three. It is crucial we get this stop here. Ah. We allow the first down, but the clock is gonna continue to run. Oh, Connolly. Outstretches his arms, not able to come up with the pick, gets it to his receiver. They are already in field goal range and have one minute left on the clock before halftime. Baker is... <laughs> Baker is stunned on that route and they complete the pass. Bill's coming out of their timeout here, trying to score before half. BJ Goodson in the game. That should have been an easy pick for Marcus Golden. He was able to break it up. We are able to clog up the lanes. After the big sack, it is now third and 16. We need a stop. We do not want to let them get any more than three, and we just let them throw it right up the gut, and they will score the touchdown before half. They had the extra point. It is 17 to 10. Huge hit. I never need in the end zone because... I always hope to get more than the 25 yard line, but that is a worst case scenario there. Well, just like that, 14 point swing. We're gonna go ahead and let that one go out of the back, Valentine. How's that sound? Well, originally I was going to say that it would be very important for us to score before a half since they are getting the ball back, but now it is crucial after a huge fumble recovery. 
Evan Ingram not able to make the diving catch. The last thing we want to do is give them the ball after half and have them go all the way down the field and score and make this game nearly unable to be reached. TJ Jones, beautiful catch. We call our second timeout here in the game. 20 seconds to go. We are approaching midfield. TJ Jones just had a beautiful catch. Into double coverage. It is knocked away. We get Sterling Shepard, another beautiful catch. They are clearly prepared for the pass here. We have no timeouts left, eight seconds to go in the half. We need to try and get some points, either get it into the end zone or be able to get out of bounds to stop that clock. We're not gonna be able to do either. After back-to-back -back scores at the end of half and we are not able to get the ball into the end zone, it is crucial we get a stop here on the first drive of the second half. And that is a good start as we get Dexter Lawrence up the middle for the sack. Nearly able to get two sacks in a row, but Josh Allen gets it away. Not much gain there. This is a big third down and 14. And that'll be incomplete. We are down two scores here, but we cannot abandon what got us to the dance, and that is Saquon Barkley. Ah, especially with runs like that. Wasn't able to juke, but we get a big game with Saquon. Short gain, gonna be close to a first down. It'll be first and 10. Was expecting the middle linebacker to come up, so I did truck. Got enough of a lane to get some positive yardage. We do have a short route. And we get Evan Ingram with a beautiful catch. He's able to get in front of his defender. What a catch by Golden Tate. I did have to switch over to user there. I did not want that picked. I was anticipating a better cut. The cornerback was able to pick up on it. Short gain to Golden Tate. Tried to hit him in stride on the drag route. Wasn't able to do so. Manning has to just get it away. At this point in the game, this may be risky, but we need to go for it. Eli Manning will dive forward. He will get the first down. Barkley fights off a tackler for the first down. I have to realize Eli is not mobile. I'm so used to using a mobile, a more mobile quarterback that I'm just trying to maneuver in the pocket and it's not working. Saquon is met in the hole. Saquon Barkley, wide open for the touchdown. Saquon Barkley, huge wheel route for the touchdown. And we are back in this ball game. After the huge wheel route for the touchdown to Saquon Barkley, we are on defense. It was an incredible pass by Eli Manning. We are able to break that up with Anton Bethay. As I was saying, that was a gorgeous pass by Eli Manning to Saquon Barkley for the touchdown. Connolly lets him get past him again. That's partially my fault. Trying to make up for my mistake on defense here. We're able to break that up. We let him across the middle, but we knocked that ball loose. Julian Love with a great hit. We are back on offense after the punt at our own 20 yard line. We go to Saquon Barkley, who makes a beautiful play to get away from the defender. Saquon Barkley up over 100 yards in this ball game. 
Ah. I do not like that animation. I wish they would just go down instead of regaining balance. Because we would have had maybe an additional two yards if he was able to just maintain there. Sterling Shepard makes the catch, holds on to the football. We are here at the start of the fourth quarter. Giants have the football. We're trying to keep this drive going here. Led him too far. Saquon Barkley up the middle, near a first down. Saquon Barkley able to get the first down up the middle. Saquon Barkley is unstoppable, ladies and gentlemen. Fights forward for the first down. They're ready for the play action. I'm dying to hit one of these, and I just can't do it. Golden Tate in the end zone. Way too far. That's happened a few times now with Eli. He does overshoot that receiver. We're going to need time for this play to work. Need to get these receivers downfield. We just have no time. I just get it away. Does go to Sterling Shepard for some significant yardage, but we will take the field goal here on fourth and six. I'd rather get something rather than nothing. Rosas puts it through. We are down by four with five and a half minutes left in this ball game. This is where our defense needs to step up big. Only down four. They have the ball with five and a half minutes to go. I did not, when I was switching, when I was switching defenders, accidentally had my hand on the right stick. The safety falls on his face. Maybe one day I'll learn to stop these dumb little mental mistakes, but we get a good return here from Corey Valentine. If there is any positive that comes out of them scoring, it's that it was very quick, so we still have time here. Eli Manning slings it out. Did Golden Tate come down with it? He did not. Only got one foot in bounds. Golden Tate open on this drive. Beautiful sluggos. Can't even speak. Beautiful sluggo by Golden Tate. We're moving. Evan Ingram is open. Cannot hold on to the football. That safety closed so quickly. He was wide open and that safety came out of nowhere. Evan <laughs> Shepard with an amazing juke. Ah, uh, two out in front of Evan Ingram. He had him open. This is a huge third down for us here. We have to get this first. We have no choice. Evan Ingram is open. No one else was, but it is four down territory, and Evan Ingram is hurt and holding his shoulder. That would not be good. You hate to say it with three and a half minutes left, but this fourth and seven is essentially the game. And who else? Saquon Barkley keeps the drive alive. That was risky. TJ Jones is... Ah, he was able to break that tackle right at the one yard line, but not able to get it into the end zone. Evan Ingram back spasms. We're going to replace him with Rhett Ellison for the remainder of this drive at least. So I think we're going to punch it in right now with Saquon Barkley. If he can get around the edge of the defense, give him the touchdown that he deserves as they're putting us on his back. And Saquon Barkley will walk in for an easy score. We are going to go for two. We need to see if running the same play works. When you have Saquon Barkley, 
and he fumbles the football. Oh, that's huge. That basically means we need a touchdown to win this game. Uh, Saquon Barkley with his first fumble of the season after having none last year. On the return, Buffalo. We give up a face mask penalty. That's big. Our defense has been playing great all game. Let up a few big plays. Some of them are my fault. We need them to come up huge here. Coming out of the two-minute warning, our defense on the field with a second and six. Quick toss out. We are able to stop it for no gain. Third and seven. This is huge. We need to stop. And he drops the ball. Let's go. We force fourth down. We will take the punt. See if we can get downfield and get this win. Eli Manning and the New York Giants with a minute 43 to go. We have two timeouts. Eli Manning has many game-winning drives in his career. Can he add one more to the list? <sighs> Not a great start. I'm just going to be forced to take that timeout. Laces it out. Gets the feet in. Did he hold on? He did not. Third and 21. After not being able to hold on to that ball, it is now third and 21. Eli Manning, a slow release. That's pretty much the game right there. Evan Ingram is nailed, and that will be an interception. The Bills in victory formation. I'm not even going to bother calling a timeout here. We came up so close, came down to the final drive. We could not get it done. Unfortunate, but we are improving as a team. Ah, uh, this is going to be a tough loss to bear. Man. Eli Manning down the stretch. Wow. They go with a fake knee. It is third down, but that will be the ball game. We couldn't come up when it mattered most. Eli's... The combination of Eli not being able to move and me... Costing us the game, unfortunately. But as I said, we are improving. Uh, that was a very close ball game. Saquon Barkley, incredible. We're going to take a look at the stats here before we wrap up this video. Eli Manning looked good. 21 for 39 for 338 yards. He had two touchdowns, two interceptions. Although that second interception was a little bit of garbage. <laughs> um, you know down the stretch is tossing it up seeing what can happen but the real story of this ball game Saquon Barkley 17 attempts 129 yards seven and a half average and a touchdown on top of that Saquon also had 43 yards and a receiving touchdown but Sterling Shepard wow 157 yards and a touchdown on defense Two total sacks for the team, both on our defensive line. That was week two of Giants franchise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel and like this video below. I'll see you in the next one, guys.